Hello, my name is Alberto Square. I'm Program Director of Public Policy and Management and Public Financial Management Programs. And I'm uh, here in this webinar to provide you some information about, uh, about these courses. So, uh, let me start uh, by saying something about the University of London. Uh, these courses are offered uh, within the Centre for Financial and Management Studies of uh, SOAS University of London, which is part of the University of London, which is a federal university with uh, 17 colleges and 10 research institutes. It, uh, it has uh, quite a long history, as well as uh, the international programs within the University, university of London. So since uh, 1858, the University of London International Programs uh, has been providing courses to quite a number of thousands of uh, students uh, all, over, all over the world, literally. And uh, the courses that we offer at CEFIM is just part of uh, this overall framework. So CEFIM, as a department of SOAS, provides courses at the master's postgraduate level, like distance learning, which are recognized in the UK and also relatedly in many other countries. Uh, at the moment, we count over 2,500 students uh, in more than uh, 160 uh, countries. And uh, that's not the only center within SOAS which provides distance learning, as you may find uh, other courses of your interest also in the Center for Development, Environment and Policy and the Center for International Studies and, uh, and Diplomacy. Let me start by describing uh, uh, what we do by pointing first at uh, uh, the range of uh, short courses that we offer. Uh, these uh, short courses result uh, in uh, the achievement of so-called uh, individual professional awards. These courses uh, last for eight weeks. So these are studying around the working day. Students uh, receive a study pack and they are expected to conduct, to carry out the study on their own, but they still receive uh, a, a assistance from the side of the tutors, which collaborate with, uh, with the SAFIM and which can be reached through our uh, distance learning online platforms and by messaging uh, communication tools. Uh, students are required uh, to submit uh, two assignments within these, uh, these models. Um, these assignments are quite important as they provide uh, a way for tutors to provide the feedback to the students to know whether they are on the right track in their learning process. In addition to these, uh, students uh, are expected to see the examinations uh, in, uh, in October. Each of the assignments uh, is, uh, accounts for 15% of the total marks students receive for the model, and the examination that students see in October counts for 70% uh, of the marks. Examinations take place in the exam centers, which are scattered all over the world. On the website of the University of London International Programs, there is the full list of uh, places, like the British Council, for instance, which host examinations. Once the course has been successful, so students receive a certificate of achievement from, uh, from the university. This uh, provides a basis to update the knowledge and skills and expertise of, uh, of people all over their, uh, their working life. Uh, these individual professional courses or awards constitute the basic bricks, building blocks for uh, building up uh, fuller accreditations. So in fact, you may take uh, up to three individual professional courses, but if you take four of them, then you can achieve a postgraduate diploma. If you take uh, four more modules, then uh, with a total of eight modules, you can reach a master's degree uh, level, which uh, counts uh, as a total of eight modules, actually. So if uh, you're interested to take a postgraduate diploma, you're expected to take uh, four modules. There are a variety of postgraduate diplomas offered at CEFIM. Here, here you can see the full list. And I'm especially a director of the postgraduate diplomas on uh, policy studies, public financial management, and, uh, and public management. Here, let's go into, into details. And uh, uh, I can tell you first that in terms of master's programs, you may also choose uh, between the uh, two MSc programs, public policy and management, uh, public financial management, which uh, I, I direct. But uh, still, again, there are quite a variety of other MSc programs that you can choose from, uh, uh, from setting. The expected time of completion of the MSc programs is uh, between two and five years. It is doable to complete this, uh, the MSc in two years, in a couple of years' time. But still, uh, we acknowledge that some of our students have more work or family commitments 
and so they can devote just a part time of their effort to study, and so uh, it is up to five years time to complete to complete these programs. And let's get into uh, let's zoom, let's focus on uh, what is it within the, these uh, these programs. So to take the postgraduate diploma in policy studies, uh, students are expected to take uh, four modules out of this list. So we have uh, topics which all relate generally to the processes of uh, making, uh, implementing, uh, and evaluating policies. Decentralization and local governance, privatization, public private partnership, project program policy evaluation, development assistance, perspective and issues on public policy and management, public policy and strategy, and the International Monetary Fund and the economic policy. Uh, the postgraduate diploma in public financial management has a uh, different kind of models. Here, students are expected to take uh, uh, more accounting-related uh, courses like uh, financial reporting, uh, audit and compliance, planning and performance, which relates to expenditure and budgeting, uh, revenue, which also includes uh, taxation. Uh, but it, to some extent, uh, there is also some overlap between uh, these uh, postgraduate diploma courses. And the same also for the postgraduate diploma in public management. Uh, here as well, you may find uh, some uh, modules uh, like uh, development assistance or perspective and issues on public policy and management that you may find uh, also in other postgraduate diplomas. But there are also some uh, specific modules like uh, e-government, managing organizational change, and uh, HR management and, and development. If you want to take an MSc program, so you're expected to take eight, eight modules. And uh, there is a longer list. So in total, there are almost 20 modules or courses which are offered by SAFIN in the area of public policy and management and public financial management. So for taking the MSc public policy and management, this is a list of the modules that you can take and you can select eight of them. Let me say a couple of words more, however, about the possibility within the MSc program to take the dissertation module. The dissertation module comes as a, any other module, so you can do the dissertation rather than studying any of these particular uh, subjects. However, before taking the dissertation, students are also required to take the research method uh, module, which provides the uh, general uh, understanding of uh, theoretical approaches, research methods of both uh, quantitative and qualitative sorts. And within the research method uh, module, the students uh, write down uh, the plan for their dissertation. Um, usually the dissertation is then conducted uh, in between uh, February and the uh, students are expected to submit by August or September. So it's about a six plus uh, something a month time to write, to work uh, on the dissertation. So the dissertation plus the research methods count as uh, two modules that uh, students may take, uh, plus uh, they need to take six other modules uh, in order to complete the MSc. Dissertation is optional, however, uh, students may decide whether to take it or not. And uh, uh, let me say also something more about our uh, approach to assist uh, students in their, in, their, in their process. So students uh, are surrounded, in a sense, by various resources that we provide. So there are the personal tutors of the University, University of London, and there is a structured approach to study schedule. So students receive a study pack, which includes a textbook, articles, and the units. Each unit is like a lecture note, and the students can read it and go through this text as if a lecturer is explaining the subject and referring to the textbook, to the articles, for, uh, for additional study. There are eight um, units uh, within the study pack, so they, they accompany the student uh, within the eight-week uh, period of study for, for each module, if uh, students can, uh, uh, can keep the pace to study each unit every, every week. So these units are uh, especially written for our, for our courses. In addition to these uh, students, as I said earlier, they are uh, required to submit ex uh, assignments. So they receive the feedback and marks, uh, which is signal whether the student is on the right track uh, in their study. Uh, they also receive a specimen exams uh, to provide an idea of how the examinations uh, in October look, uh, look like. In addition to these, uh, and especially also with the use of uh, uh, online resources, students have access to a, a virtual, virtual environment they can uh, participate to forums, and so they can relate to other course mates who study all around the world, and typically they may share the same or similar kind of work, uh, work experience. 
In addition to this, you have access to the University of London online library, and uh, so you can also there find additional teaching, uh, teaching resources. So the study material is delivered to you before the start of the study study session, and it comes uh, in a paper format. So students may enjoy the access online to our units and to some additional electronic resources, but they receive the physical pack of everything which they need to study and to know to pass the model, which is in, in this sense physically self-contained. Self so these readings come mainly in the forms of textbooks and the key articles and the, and the chapters. Plus on the top of this, there are also additional resources to help students to to, to navigate through this experience of studying, uh, studying online. As I said earlier, assignments play an important role within the learning process. So there are two of them. The first one is uh, provided, uh, is submitted to be submitted after four weeks of study. And the second one comes at the very end of the module after having studied for eight weeks, then the students submit their second assignment. Then there is the examination. This uh, is uh, three hours long, and uh, as I said earlier, this counts as 70% of the marks, and this takes place in any of the University of London International Programs exam centers in the world. You can check which is the nearest to you and which is the most convenient uh, for you. This uh, period of study of eight weeks run uh, one after the other, so there are five uh, study sessions per year. There is a, a study calendar, which is on the website of SEFIN, and the students can in advance anticipate which modules are running in every particular session. So they can schedule, they can plan in advance which course or module they want to take in each particular session. If they study hard, they may take five modules one after the other, and so to prepare for sitting five exams in, a, in any particular year. So there are uh, uh, study sessions, eight weeks long. They start uh, roughly in November, January, April, June, and uh, July. Generally, there is no one running on in September, as this is more of a period of uh, studying for preparing for the exams in, uh, in October. So next uh, application close date is the 12th of September, 2016. But please, you can check the website of SAFIM to check for next uh, application, application deadlines. Generally, we expect our students to hold um, a good uh, first level, first undergraduate degree at the upper second class UK level or, uh, or equivalent. Generally, in any discipline, most of our students come from a social science discipline, but many also come from a more engineering, hard science, and so on. Generally, we take also professional experience into account. Some of our students have just recently graduated from university, but others instead are quite experienced professionals with several decades of experience behind their shoulders, and they seek from our courses a way to update their knowledge or possibly to have a shift in career towards other, other areas. So these courses are taught in English, so we expect you to be enough proficient with the language, the fees uh, at present come uh, uh, at uh, 1,260 pounds per module, but you can either pay all at once when uh, registering for a postgraduate diploma or, or an MSc, or you can pay as you go just before every single module that you want, uh, that you expect to start. So uh, our students, as I said earlier, come literally from everywhere in the world. Many of them have the work experience, in, especially at the central government level, sub-national government as well, international organizations, also companies working uh, in, uh, in the private sector. And uh, many of our students, of course, uh, pursue their career within these uh, particular environments. So I hope uh, this information was, uh, was fine for you. And uh, I'd like to ask uh, if uh, any has uh, any question. As I get the sense, there could be no questions. But I thank you for your attention. Uh, please be in touch with us if you have any additional question. And uh, I look forward to see you attending any of our, any of our programs.
Thank <laughs> you. 